Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today today is about this makeup tutorial right here. Guys, I really really love this look and I am feeling myself. I actually got this red hair from Shane, I can't remember when but yeah. I was actually using it for my <laughs> tutorial but I just thought you know what. I was gonna do a video of this hairstyle, you know, the braids. And it was actually a wig, so yeah. So I got this palette f from Bare Minerals through the PR company called Community Scene or Scene Group. So I just thought, you know what? Let me use this palette to create a gorgeous, easy makeup look for you guys. So. Yeah, it is. So I tried as much as possible to use all the shades in the palettes for this look. So yeah, just to be able to have the feel of the texture and the quality of the eyeshadows. And I really, really love the pigment, guys. The pigmentation is unreal. Like seriously, I am loving it. So I use the gold shade. There are actually two types of gold in there. So I use the lighter one. For my inner corner and yeah that's it for the high look everything i did is self-explanatory and i slap on my lashes <laughs> which you guys already know i like you know ah, dramatic eyelashes <laughs> so yeah i went ahead and do my face using the laura mercier primer i really really like this primer guys it goes on smoothly on the skin and whatever foundation you apply just blending seamlessly so i use the clinic foundation i like the foundation as well because the foundation is very lightweight on the skin at the same time it gives that full coverage look so don't panic the foundation looks a little bit lighter but don't worry we are going to blend everything in a bit so yeah i also think that short hair don't fit me <laughs> but I really like the way this one looks on me. <laughs> I know, right? And it's red. <laughs> anyway, moving on, I applied my concealer by NAS, I believe. And to be honest with you guys, I don't really have one particular way of applying my makeup, but I just follow the flow. Because I had someone ask me a question a while ago, a while back, saying, do you normally prepare for your makeup tutorial or any look you're going for let's be honest yeah sometimes you sit on that chair thinking i'm going to film this particular look today or i'm going to use this particular eyeshadow today but you get on that seat guys and you do something completely different i don't know if you guys can relate with this because this has happened to me so many times sometimes i would say oh I'm going for a simple neutral makeup look and before I know it bow pow my face is like full proper blown up makeup look <laughs> so to be fair I just follow the flow really I follow the flow and for my eye uh, face makeup I just you know go on with the flow sometimes I apply my contour before my powder and sometimes i apply the powder before the contour so it doesn't really matter guys just do whatever you know if rocks your boots really and yeah i like applying my contour in my jawline because sometimes it just gives that you know chiseled jawline if that makes sense and you look like 10 years younger i don't know if you guys haven't tried that <laughs> go ahead and try it <laughs> yeah I am loving it so far, so yeah, I went ahead and applied more concealer on my on the bridge of my nose just to get to, just to incent, accentuate the line <laughs> and my contour is actually pull up in yeah, just ways everything will be blended together at the end of this video, and bear in mind that fancy setting spray is the best guys the best i mean there's some certain spray you use like it appears to be raining on your face but with this fenty one it's so subtle that you can barely feel it and at the same time it helps your makeup blend in seamlessly and everything just goes gorgeously so i'm using this black 
lip liner by Colourpop. It's actually a lip liner, but I just like to use it because it's black and it's very, very creamy and goes on smoothly on the eyes. So yeah, that completes today's look because the only thing left now is just applying my lipstick, lip liner and lipstick by Huda Beauty. And to top it up, I use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bump. I can't remember the name or what that one is called, but this is the finished look, guys. What do you guys think? By the way, I'll be showing you guys how I install these braided wigs. I received a lot of compliments in regards to this wig, but guess what, guys? It's a wig. I didn't make my hair or go to the salon. It's a wig. Thanks for watching. Bye.